Hi techies, in this video I am gonna cover one more informatical scenario that is how do you design a mapping to load all unique customers in one table and the duplicate customers in another table. Okay, so this is my data if you see on my screen. This is my source data. I have customer table. So Kirti is my first record of customer and Deepti. Uh, I got three times Deepti. This is not unique record, but Kirti is unique record. And Venkat I got two times. So this is also not unique record. And Surya Chaitanya, we got only one time. So these are three records we have unique Kirti, Chaitanya and Surya. These we have to send to the target one and the records which occurs more than one time, those we have to send to the target two. So duplicate records has to send one target and unique records we have to send to the another tar target. If you see on my screen, you will understand clearly like uh, how I sent data to the target one and target two. Okay, so like this, we have to uh, design a mapping for this logic. So now I'm going to show you the source data. So this is my source file. In this, I have customer as shown and as shown in the uh, previous slide. Same data I have taken here. So I have to send this data to the targets two targets one for duplicates and one for non duplicates now i am going to design a mapping so i am in default folder i am just going to create a mapping new mapping for this logic for separating the duplicates and unique records so my source is flat file so I'm taking flat file connection and here I'm going to select my customer dupe file. This is my source file. In this I'm going to do some formatting. It's delimited comma only and the text qualifier is none. So data will not uh, give between the quotes. And now um, I'm going to use sorter here. Where is the sorter? Look up router. Yeah, sorter this one. So I'm going to sort the data. So I'm just going to add sort in ascending. So customer on customer, I'm just doing sort. Okay. Now I'm going to add expression. So this is expression. I'm going to add expression. So in expression, I'm going to add one more field, some dummy field for comparison purpose. Okay. And this is string, sorry, integer. And I'm just giving here value as 1. This is hard coded value. So I'm just giving 1. And now I'm going to add join, sorry, aggregator here. So which we use for to get the count. So count of each record. I don't want all incoming fields. I just want only customer field because I'm going to do group by on customer. So I'm including only customer dummy value, dummy field which I created in the expression. I don't want here. Okay. In aggregate, sorry, first in group by will add one field here customer. So I'm doing group by on customer, right? So I'm adding that field here and I'm just saving. And in aggregator, I'm adding a field count 
this is new field i am just giving o of count so one output field this is also a integer and i'm here in configuring o of count as count of we have count function right so customer so it will give customer count how many times it occurs it just give because we are doing group by on customers so the and in advanced we have to check the sorted input because we are giving sorted input to the aggregator by using sorter we already sorted so that's why i check this so aggregator will not sort again it's just going to do aggregation without sorting okay and if you wanna see in aggregator preview if you wanna see i'll show you because we'll get only one record and uh, we'll get count how many times it occurs one record means we are doing group by right if we have multiple duplicates also multiple occurrences it will give only one occurrence and count we are finding right so it will give count how many times it occurs the record count it's just going to give here so i'm just going to show you in preview because you will understand very clearly the logic so all records it's there but only uniquely one one record it's giving Deepthi we got uh, three times right but it it has given only one time but the count it's given three right Venkat also two times we got and the count it's just given here and remaining one one unique records so in aggregator till aggregator this is the logic now i'm going to use joiner i'm going to join the data from expression and the data from aggregator on customer on customer uh, field okay the condition is whatever getting from aggregator that customer data and whatever i'm going to get from uh, sorry expression that customer has to match that is the condition join condition in properties if you see incoming fields we got naming conflict field name conflict this is also one of the important question how you will resolve the field name conflict so whenever we got same names from master and detail we'll get this type of uh, a naming conflict issue so that time we have to use something like prefix suffix or pattern something we have to use i'm just going to use suffix so at the end of the field it will it is field name it is going to add this suffix whatever we, it is coming from the aggregator i'm going to add underscore one for that field names as a suffix so issue got resolved if you see in master customer one of count one which is coming from these uh, these are coming from the aggregator fields right okay and why i have taken aggregator is my master means in aggregator we have less number of records right three records and in detail uh, from expression we we are getting all the records so whenever uh, we we are using the joiner master should be the less num the table which is having less number of records that is we have to take master so performance we can increase and in join condition i'm going to use customer so whatever customer it is coming from fee aggregator that one and the customer is coming from expression I'm just joining these two okay and in advanced we have to check the sorted input because we already sorted this okay and now in a in joiner you can see if you want to see the preview but in joiner will we cannot do preview it will not support 
and now I'm going to take a router here in router properties so in advanced there is a tracing level okay in output groups I am just going to add one more group which is for unique records wherever O count equals to dummy dummy means its uh, default value is one only So I'm going to give O count equals to 1 here because it's not joiner right so we have to give the value here so dummy equals to 1 wherever we have uh, O count equals to 1 and uh, they that is unique record right that one and dummy record equals to one wherever we uh, this two has satisfied then we are going to get the unique records so if if that is not satisfied then it will go to the default port so this is the default one so whatever it's not like unique then it's just going to the default port if you want to see the preview I'll show you here For generating preview it is taking time I think it's successfully completed and if you see here in default port is just given no uh, o count o count is not equals to one those it just sent to the default group and a new group which is for we created for unique records so this unique records is just went to the unique i mean a new group these are the unique records so now i am going to create two targets okay and one target already it's created but I need to give the connections so in target I'm just going to give the flat fill connection again and uh, I'm going to select here I'm going to create a file target file at runtime so I'm just going to give customer original okay so original records so this is for non duplicates and same in formatting option i'm going to use none comma and none text to qualifier import from row 1 and uh, incoming fields i don't want all the fields i just want 
only few fields customer so i am just going to include only customer is giving okay configure which is coming from expression those i want because we are going to get all the customers if we select from expression because in group by we already done group by right so we'll get only three records but i need all the records right so i just selected customer which is coming from expression and now in target everything is fine right so i'm going to create one more target instance okay so same copy paste i have done same instance i mean same target but i have done copy paste and i'm going to change the file name here in target uh, this is original records right so i'm just going to change the file name i'm going to use duplicate records here target one for do okay i'm just giving naming because we don't want to confuse here so target s this is for original records so i'm giving target original now i'm going to this default one is not original so this one is having duplicates so we have to keep this group to target one do and new group this is unique records it is having so i'm just going to give here target original okay save it mapping is valid I just wanna recheck this group one is having incoming fields. Yes, included only one field and formatting. Yeah, perfectly fine. Now I'm going to run this. It succeeded and in target one five records these are the duplicate records and this is these are three are original records I think as per logic it's executed I'm just gonna show you the targets target files also so this is duplicate records right yeah this is duplicate file record target and um, this is original file non duplicates uh, non duplicates target so as our scenario is just the logic is completely correct as our you know whatever we expected same thing it's a it's given output so target one target two okay non dupli duplicates and non duplicates yeah thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments thank you